to practice yoga on and off the yoga mat. So today we are on the yoga mat and I'm going to take you through a balance sequence so that we can use some of the tips and techniques which I shared in my last video on how to balance. So let's get going. So jump onto your yoga mat and allow your feet to be about hip width apart. Relax your hands either side of the body and keep your chin parallel to the ground. Allow your eyes to focus on a point in front of you, your drishti. Remembering that your drishti will help to keep your eyes steady, your mind calm, which will really help in your balance. So from here, take your hands onto your hips, take your weight onto your left foot, and start to lift your right knee off the ground, the right foot, sorry, off the ground. And you're gonna to start to draw circles here with the right toes. And then reverse that movement going in the opposite direction. From here now, place that right foot down onto the ground. Take the weight onto your right foot as you lift the left knee up and drawing circles here now with the left toes. Keeping your right foot grounded. Reverse that movement. Keep the eyes steady, the mind calm. And then from here, gently release that left foot down. Take your weight now over towards your left foot and draw the right foot up into the right hand and take the right knee in line with the left knee. Keep strong, keep confident in the pose, as you then take your left hand up towards the ceiling. Take a moment just to hold, and then gently releasing. Lower the right foot down, take your weight now onto your right foot, and lift the left foot up into the left hand, draw the left knee in line with the right knee, and raise the right hand up towards the ceiling, and again, keeping strong and confident, keeping that right big toe grounded, keep the eyes steady, and then from here, just gently releasing. From here now, once again, take your weight onto your left foot. You're gonna draw the right knee up and towards the chest, interlace your fingers around the knee and pull that knee nice and close up towards you. Keep the left knee straight, slightly engaging into the left glutes. As you now release your hands out to the side and just engaging the core to really keep that right knee in towards the chest. And then from here, gently releasing. Take the weight now onto your right foot, lift the left knee up and towards the chest, interlace your fingers around the left knee, holding that knee nice and close in towards you. And again, releasing the hands wide out to the side, keeping steady within the pose. And then from here, just gently releasing everything down once again. From here, just take a moment, take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale fully from the mouth. Take a moment just to roll the shoulders back. And to raise the hands up, the palms are facing down. So we're going to come into a bit of a moving balance now. So you're going to rise onto your tiptoes, keep the eyes steady. As you start to bend the knees, and we're coming down into Deepasana. As you come down into Deepasana, take your hands into a prayer position, just resting the thumbs at the chest. Again, focusing on your drishti. And for a further challenge, see if you can close the eyes for a moment, whilst holding the pose still. And then from here, just allowing the eyes to gently open. And then you're gonna take the hands down to the mat and take the knees down. So here now, allow your wrists to be underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And we'll just take a moment here in cat pose. So you're just gonna lower your tailbone, draw the belly to the spine and drop the head. And then invert the stretch. So take the tailbone up towards the ceiling, drop the belly and lift the head up. And then from here, come through to a neutral position. We'll take the knees close up together now. And you're gonna extend the right leg back behind you, bend the right knee, and then keep your eyes steady as you take your left hand back to hold onto your right foot. Actively raise the right foot towards the ceiling and allow your head to come up slightly. So just refocusing your drishti. Keep holding the pose for another moment and then gently releasing everything down once again. And from here, just take a moment just to arch the spine. And then back into a neutral position. We'll extend the left leg back now, bending into the left knee. Take your right hand back to hold onto the left foot and raising the left foot up towards the ceiling. And again, just adjusting your gaze slightly as you raise the head to look up, opening up through the chest. Notice the breath and then gently releasing once again, taking the hands down, and again just rounding out through the spine. From here now, just come back through to a neutral position, 
and allow your hips to come down as you come through to a child's pose. And just resting here in child, just take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. From here now, just raising the upper body all the way up as you come back into Vajrasana. And from Vajrasana, we're going to come into Malasana, your squat pose. So here, just taking your hands forward, just draw your toes under and lift your knees off the mat. Go wide with your knees. So you're almost like in a deep asana pose. So you're on the tiptoes. And then from here, raise your hands up and you're going to lean forward. As you lean forward, lower the hips down and draw the heels down onto the ground. Take your hands into a prayer position and actively push the palms of your hands together. From here now, lower the hips all the way down and just bring yourself a little bit higher up the mat. And we're going to just come into a boat pose here. So you're going to wrap your hands around the thighs, just coming onto the tiptoes. And then from here, just lifting the feet off the mat. So coming into a balanced boat pose as you come onto your sit bones. Keep the calves parallel to the ground and releasing through the hands. So here now we're engaging into the core and remember your core strength will really help you with your balance. It allows you to find your center of gravity as you hold a balance pose. From here again, wrap your hands around the thighs. Keep those calves parallel to the ground. And then from here once again, I'm gonna gently release. And this time we're gonna extend. So you're gonna to start to straighten through the knees, keep drawing the belly towards the spine, Continue to hold the pose, and then from here again, wrapping your hands around the thighs. From here now, lower your feet down onto the mat, come back into Malasana. So you're just rocking yourself forward back into Malasana as you take the hands into a prayer. And then we're gonna take this into Crow Pose. So Crow is a power pose balance. So from here, you're gonna take your hands down onto the mat, spread through the fingers, and allow your knees to come onto the upper arms. And then just taking your weight a little bit further forward, find your drishti, your point of focus, as you take your feet off the mat, holding your crow pose, keep strong. And then from here, lowering the feet back down onto the ground. Allow your feet to be about hip width apart. And you're gonna come through to a standing forward bend, so lowering the heels down. And as you come into your standing forward bend, the feet are hip width apart and then just gently uncurling the spine as you come all the way up through to your standing position. And just take a moment once again, just to roll the shoulders back. And then from here, we're just going to a standing balance. So we're gonna come into your tree pose. So from here, taking the hands onto the hips, take your weight onto your left foot, draw your right foot all the way up into your left thigh. Keep strong as you hold the pose. And then from here, we're gonna take the hands into a prayer position at the chest. Resting the thumbs at the chest. And then from here, we're gonna stretch the hands up towards the ceiling. Interlock your fingers, release the index fingers, and lengthen the hands all the way up as you almost lift the rib cage up away from the hips. Continue to hold. And then from here, just drawing the hands through to prayer at the chest. And releasing that right foot down. Take your weight now onto your right foot. Lift your left foot up into that standing right leg. Take the hands onto the hips to begin. Keep your right big toe grounded, the eyes steady, keep calm in the mind, and then take the hands into prayer at the chest. And then from here again, interlocking the fingers, release the index fingers, stretch the hands up towards the ceiling. Feel a sense of bravery and strength as you hold this pose. Continue to hold. And then from here, taking the hands through to a prayer position at the chest and lowering that left foot down. From here, relaxing the hands down. Just take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And then from here, we'll just take a moment to come through to a meditation. So once again, just bring yourselves down into a seated position on your mat, just to retain that sense of calmness and balance from your practice. And you're going to take the hands either onto the knees or in the lap. Allow the palms to face upwards. Allow your eyes to close for a moment. And take your awareness and attention to your breath. Take a slow, deep breath in through the nose. And exhale fully from the mouth. Allow the breath to return to its natural pattern. And just take a moment here just to remind yourself that you are courageous and brave, 
that it takes incredible strength to hold a balance. And as you work on developing that sense of balance within your body and your mind, you start to move closer to a space of equilibrium and harmony and a space of peace, inner peace. So from here, once again, just take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale the breath through the nose. And gently allow the eyes to open. I hope you enjoyed that practice. And let me know your thoughts. How did you get on within your balance? Also, please do share this video with your friends and your family. And anyone else who might be interested in learning a little bit more about balance. Also, head on over to my website, yogawithjana.com, and sign up to my newsletter to receive more news and information from me. But otherwise, that's all for now, and I'll see you here next time. Thank you, and namaste.